So you might have heard of those color changing mugs. What we're gonna do is go through exactly how it works and how on earth would you use it to teach kids about color and heat and all those sort of things. So you can see down here, I've got a, one of our color changing entomology mugs. It's got a whole bunch of dark colored insects of all different persuasions. Simply the first part is get yourself a kettle and pour in the hot water. Very, very straightforward. You can use it to talk to kids about heat moving from where it's high heat to low heat and they can tend to watch it and wonder what's going to happen and in this case you can see it starting to happen that as the heat transfers through the porcelain mug that the colors change but why why does this happen well over the top of these uh, insects and you can see they're all different colors over the top of these insects is a material which when it's cold really absorbs all light and when you absorb all light you tend to have dark colors in fact all light absorbed is black however when this material that's covering these insects is, well, very hot, it becomes translucent, which allows light to go through and then come on out. Now, I didn't say transparent, because it's not completely transparent, but it is pretty close. So the idea is that, yes, you can do this and show that these colors, mugs can change, but what else would you do about this? Can this be brought backwards? Well, all you've got to do at this point now is pour away that hot water and you can ask the kids to time how long it'll take for this to go cold. Or straight up, you could actually make them cold. You could get yourself some ice and rub around the outside and see how long it takes to get it nice and cold, which will take some time, because let's be honest, the mug itself is quite hot right now. But as it cools down, there we go, it's happening now, the insects go back to dark because that material that's on the front becomes, well, very good at absorbing light. And when you absorb light, you get a lack of colors. And it's quite good. If you really want that to happen, another way of doing this is pouring in water and then adding ice as well. Whoa, almost too much. And just letting that sit in there for a while until the thing cools down and the kids can predict how long it takes. So if you want to get one of these, just jump on the Physics Education website, just type in colour changing mug, or even just take, type in mug and you will find these. They're quite good for talking about heat transfer and also getting kids to learn to measure things too.